This project is going to be a little bit different. I have a weather station and the temperature sensor I want to move and um, I don't want any sun hitting it. This is a, a new temperature humidity sensor that I've got for the weather station. The other one is is kind of worn out. But I want to protect this and there's something called a radiation a solar radiation shield. And I got these uh, plastic soup bowls and I'm going to use and basically I'm going to stack them and separate them so that air can flow into here. I cut one of them with a hole in it. So some of them are going to have a hole in it and this sensor is going to fit in these in this hole so that it's all enclosed so the sun can't hit it. Where I've got it is in the shade but every once in a while some light will come through and maybe touch the sensor and heat it up. So this will protect that from happening. I've seen several people do this in different ways and you can of course buy these commercially but um, I wanted to do this inexpensively and I decided to use plastic because it's not a good um, thermal conductor. If I made this out like pie pans or something, the metal conducts heat and will conduct heat into where the sensor is at more readily than plastic will. The other thing too is when it rains I don't want an edge on here that will hold water so this has a little lip and most plastic bowls that you see will have a lip so if it rains there's going to be a puddle of water all the way around here. So I'm going to do like I did on this one and cut that lip off so that the rain will just fall off and there might be a little bit of drips of water. And on the top, there's also a lip here. So this top one that's on here, when it's like this and they're stacked, this lip I'm going to cut off so it won't hold a puddle of water up here. That would also affect the humidity. So, um, I've marked three holes and I'm going to drill some holes in all these and I'm going to hook them together with these rods. They're just threaded rod that I bought down at the hardware store. And then I'm going to separate these and I'm just going to take some tubing and put over these rods. And so when it goes through here, this these spacers will hold these bowls apart. I think the next step to do is to go ahead and go out and drill holes in all of these bowls and cut these spacers. And I'm going to do that in my little shop. I'll just drill these holes with a drill press and cut these off with a cutter. And I'll look to the same length. This is about an inch long. It doesn't have to be uh, uh, any particular length. I just chose an inch and that should work with these 12 inch rod or long rods. Okay, so the next stop is to go out to the shop. Okay, I'm going to drill holes in this first one. I'll use it to mark the holes in the other one. another idea that maybe I could just uh, stack all of them and drill them all at once. I think I'll try that.
all drilled. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the spacers. I'm going to use this tubing cutter, and I found a spot here on my vise. If I just hold this like this, these are almost exactly an inch long. So I'm just going to cut a bunch of these. That should be enough. Now that I've got the, the holes drilled here, I'm going to just do a, a dry fit before I cut off these edges. And the, this, I'll cut off one of these on the top, of course, the holes in some of them. So I'm just going to put it together to see what it's going to look like before I go any further and make sure everything's going to work. Put this the rest of this together and then come back. Okay, here's a test fit. That's what it's going to look like. And the temperature sensor will be in the middle of this, and there'll be vent holes between the bowls. But the top two, probably in the bottom two, won't have vent holes, so the air will have to come in through the sides rather than like heat coming up from the bottom affecting the temperature sensor. I just want the air passing by to. Uh, affect the sensor and the top of course will be uh, protected also from rain coming in or any heat sensing from the top and I'm just going to use a shelf bracket to hold it up and I'm going to attach it to the fence so it'll probably end up looking something like this I'll have to make a bracket here on top to hold it okay I'll go back and uh, start cutting these edges off. Okay, I'm ready to cut this edge off here. I'll do this one and then um, probably do the other ones off camera because this is going to take a while. And I'm just using the uh, the edge as a guide, this little lip as a guide for the blade. It'll take several cuts to get through here. Okay, there's one. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this top lip off too. And I don't, this is going to be the top one. So this is the only one I'm going to have to cut this lip off of. And I'm going to use a piece of cardboard here so I don't scrape up this edge while I'm cutting it off. Otherwise this knife is going to rest on here and possibly scratch it up. I got the majority of it off. I'll go back and clean that up a little bit and then I'll come back once I get the, the uh, this outer lip cut off the rest of them. I finished cutting the edge off of all these and I went ahead and sanded the edge a little bit too so it's smooth. So I have four that don't have the bottom cut out so those will be the top and bottom. Two on the top, two on the bottom. And then I have the other ones that are the inner ones that all have the center cut out where the temperature sensor will fit in here. I haven't decided how I'm going to hook this on yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start fitting these together. So I'll start with the bottom and work up. So the first two will be the, um, the ones without the bottoms cut out. And since I dry fitted it once, I found that it's a little tough to do, but it is doable. After you get the first about three on, then it works okay. Then you can start just pushing them on. Okay, so a spacer each time. So I have the two bottom ones on. Now I'm going to go with an open one. Well, you know what, before I do that, okay, this one that goes on the top has that ridge cut off the top. So I have to make sure I have that one separated. After I get a couple of these on here that are open, I'm going to check that sensor to see how I'm going to hook it on. Yeah, that's probably enough. It could probably hook on about there. Okay, I'm going to stop right here and devise some way that I'm going to hold the sensor in there. Get back out a little bit so you can see it better.